हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मोनिका राना दिस इज हिमाचल 365 सिक्सटी फाइव एंड यू वॉशिंग हिल कोशारल लेट स्टार्ट विद द हेडलाइंस चंडीगढ़ मनाली हाईवे ब्लॉक नियर पंडो आफ्टर लैंड स्लाइड फोर सिक्सटी टू रोड ब्लॉक वेट स्पेल प्रेडिक्टेड टेल अगस्त फाइव वन फिफ्टी टूरिस्ट रेस्क्यूड फ्रॉम लाहौल स्पीति धर्मशाला स्लम डवेलर सेटलमेंट एट सारा बिलेज अपोस्ट रोलिंग स्टोन्स हेड कार नियर सोघी शिमला फोर इंजर्ड इंडिया रिकॉर्ड फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड सिक्स फोर्टी नाइन न्यू कोविड केसेज फाइव नाइन्टी थ्री मोर डेथ्स मिजोरम पुलिस बुक असम चीफ मिनिस्टर फोर सीनियर कॉप्स इन बोर्डर रो मुक्सर गर्ल कमलप्रीत कौर क्वालिफाइज फॉर वुमेन्स डिस्कस थ्रू फाइनल्स इन टोक्यो ओलंपिक्स टू पाकिस्तानी इंट्रूडर शॉर्ट डेड अलॉन्ग इंटरनेशनल बॉर्डर इन पंजाब तरन तारन 200 cases third wave fear grips in himachal pradesh national cases highest in 3 weeks two bro officers lose lives in himachal rain rescue operation three tackers missing in lahol spiti anonymous letter to sonia gandhi hints at bickering within himachal congress now news in detail chandigarh manali highway block near pandu after landslide chandigarh manali highway was on saturday blocked after a landslide at 7 miles near pandu in mandi district due to which the traffic between mandi and kullu highway has come to a standstill huge boulders on the road have blocked the traffic from both side the district administration has engaged workforce and machinery to clear the debris from the road 462 roads blocked wet spell predicted till august 5 As many as 462 roads including 165 in Mandi, 116 in Shimla, 47 in Kullu and 30 in Sirmore were blocked in the state due to landslide triggered by rains. Meanwhile, the local MET office has issued a yellow warning of thunderstorm, lightning and heavy rainfall in 6 to 9 districts varying Kullu, Kinnaur and Lahol Spiti from July 31 to August 3 and predicted a wet spell in the region till August 5. 150 tourists rescued from Lahul Spiti as many as 150 stranded tourists were evacuated from flood affected areas of Lahul Spiti districts while 168 tourists are still marooned four bridges on the Tandi Udaipur Killer Road were damaged and a few stretches of the road were washed away in flash floods four days ago as a result traffic was blocked and tourists were stranded at Triloknath Udaipur and Thirot in the district in clement weather impacted the rescue operation in Lahul Spiti due to the bad weather the district administration could not engage a helicopter to evacuate the stranded tourists out of the valley even chief minister jaram thakur could not visit flood affected lahul spiti to meet the affected people yesterday Tharamshala slum dwellers settlement at Sara village opposed about 59 families of slum dwellers and 15 families of locals who have been housed in Bagli government school after July 12 flash flood in Dharamshala are facing an uncertain future the government had allotted land in Sara village to temporarily settle these families as their settlements were washed away in flash floods however the residents of Sara village are now opposing the settlement of slum dwellers in their area The village panchayat of Sarav has written to the district administration against settling slum dwellers in their area. The families are also under pressure to vacate the government school Bagli building where they are housed for the time being. The government has decided to open schools from August 2 and education department authorities want the school premises of vacated. Rolling stone hit car near Songhi Shimla four injured four tourists were injured when rolling stones fell on their car on the national highway number no. 5 near Songhi on the outskirts of Shimla the ill fated vehicle carrying four person was on its way to Chandigarh from Shimla when the tragedy struck the car was badly damaged and the injured were rushed to IGMC Shimla police officers said India records 41649 new covid cases 593 more deaths With a single day rise of 41,649 new cases, India's COVID tally climbed to 3 crore 16 lakh 13,993 on Saturday, while the death toll due to the viral disease shot up to 4 lakh 23,810, with 593 more people succumbing to it. The Union Health Ministry said. The number of active coronavirus cases in the country registered an increase for the fourth consecutive day. The number of active cases has gone up to 4 lakh 8,920, accounting for 1.29 percent of the total number of cases. While the national COVID recovery rate was recorded at 97.37 percent, the data showed. Mizoram Police Book Assam Chief Minister Four Senior Cops in Border Row. 
Criminal cases have been filed against Assam Chief Minister Himanta Vishwa Sarma, four senior officers of the state police and two more officials over the violent clash that took place on the outskirts of Barangte town in Mizoram's Kolosev district. They have been booked under various charges including attempt to murder and criminal conspiracy, Mizoram Inspector General of Police John Nelia told. The fire was lodged by the state police at the Vengangti police station after a gunfight between Mizoram and the Assam police near the border town. Muksa girl Kamal Preet qualifies for women's discus throw finals in Tokyo Olympic. Kamal Preet Kaur from Kavarbala village in Lambi assembly segment on Saturday qualified for women's discus throw final in Tokyo Olympics. She finished the second in the qualification round with the throw of 64 meter in her final attempt. She is the first Indian woman to touch the mark at the Olympics. Meanwhile, discus thrower Shima Punia failed to advance to the final. Two Pakistani intruders shot dead along international border in Punjab's Tarantaran. The border security force killed two Pakistani intruders who had entered the Indian territory near Khaldra of Binkevan subdivision in Tarantaran district on Friday night. BSF sources said the Javans deployed near Teikala border outpost observed suspicious movement of intruders who were trying to sneak into the Indian territory. BSF troops challenged them. However, the intruders continued to move towards the Indian side to cross the border fence. The BSF troops opened fire and the two intruders were killed. A search operation is being carried out in the area. 200 cases, third wave of fear grips in Himachal Pradesh and national cases highest in three weeks. The fear of a third COVID wave has gripped Himachal Pradesh even as the country yesterday also saw the highest number of new cases that is 44,230 in the three weeks amid fears of a resurgence of the virus driven by the highly transmissible Delta variant. The country recorded over 40,000 new cases for the third day in a row while the number of active cases in Himachal Pradesh rose to 1,137 even as the new cases crossed 200 mark. Huge influx of laborers and tourists is said to be one of the main reasons behind the recent surge in the hill state. Two BR officers lose lives in Himachal Rain Rescue Operation. Three trekkers missing in Lahul Spiti. Two border road organization BR officers lost their lives during rescue and relief operation in Himachal Pradesh, which is witnessing flash floods and landslides due to heavy rainfall. The BRO lost an engineer and a project officer during relief and rescue operation in the state. In Lahaus Piti Valley, the strategic Manali Sarchu road was closed for traffic at various places due to multiple landslides. So this is all for this time. Stay connected and keep watching Hilkas to your channel. Thank you.